Hello, dear students. Well, it's me, your teacher, Shahrazad. So I hope you are doing well. Let me tell you that the situation that we are in is very, very sensitive. So the only thing that we have to do is praying and seeking forgiveness. So please, please, I'm begging you, bear in your minds that you are not on vacation. Is it okay? You are not on vacation. Try to do your best to obtain honorable results. Okay? Anyway, so let's start our lesson of today. As you can see, it is about the future simple tense. So do you have any idea about this tense? Anyway, so let's start. The forms of the future simple tense. We have positive form. So the positive form, we have subject plus will or the contraction of will. It is, as you can see, apostrophe double L plus the verb in the infinitive. Now negative, we have subject plus we not and the contraction of we not it is want okay so do you understand me do, I, do you understand me here so we not it is long form and want is the short form is that okay and uh, plus the verb in the infinitive and the interrogative form it is well plus subject plus the verb in the infinitive plus the rest of the sentence plus question mark Let's see some examples. So, first example, we have, I will be there at 7 o'clock. Look at this sentence carefully. So, we have, first of all, the subject pronoun I, plus will, this is the future, plus the verb in the infinitive, which is the verb to be, plus the rest of the sentence. Number two. Will you prepare lunch for us tomorrow? This is a question for, and we have here the future will, plus the subject pronoun you, plus the verb in the infinitive, prepare, plus the rest of the sentence, plus question mark. So you see here, when we have uh, interrogative form, we have subject inversion. We cannot say, you will prepare lunch for us tomorrow, no, we cannot do this because it is a question for. We should start with the future will plus subject or subject pronoun plus the verb in the infinitive plus the rest of the sentence plus question mark. And sentence number three, we have it will take time to repair this car. So this is positive form. It subject pronoun plus will plus the verb in the infinitive take plus the rest of the sentence now look at this chart carefully this is what we can do we we if we are of course if we are in the classroom we should draw this chart and you have to fill it by yourself but as you can see, so uh, let's see, first of all, the affirmative form. The affirmative form, we have the subject pronouns here. I, you, we, they, he, she, it, plus well, or the contraction of well, uh, apostrophe L, L, plus the verb in the infinitive. So we can say, I will play, or I'll play. You will play or you will play. Just, uh, I would like to inform you guys that the contraction word of the future here, we use it when we want to talk. So when we talk, we usually use the contractions. Is it okay? The same with the negative form. So I can say, if I am talking, for example, to someone, I can say, I, will, I won't play, 
I won't play basketball tomorrow. All right? So here because I am speaking. And uh, so we have here long form. I will not play. Short form or the contraction of I will not play. I can say I won't play. You won't, we, they, he, she, it won't play. Now questions. So, I can say, so as you can see. We have subject inversion, so we should start with well, plus the subject or subject pronoun, plus the verb in the infinitive, plus the rest of the sentence, plus question mark. Now let's move on to the use of the simple future. So look at this time period. So we have here, here as you can see, this is the future tense. So we are here, this is the present, now. We don't need this. Now let's focus just here now and the future tense. So all the actions are here. The, uh, now let's see when do we use this tense. Let's start with the first thing. So we use will or shall. By the way, guys, we have also here the word shall. It expresses future also. We can use it with I and we. For example, I can say I will see you tomorrow or I shall see you tomorrow. And also in the question form, shall I see you tomorrow? Okay. So we use shall with I and we in the positive and interrogative form. But concerning the negative form, we cannot use it at all. So we use shall to give or ask for information about the future in cases where there is no reason to use a present verb for. For example, we want or we will not need the money till the 15th. This is negative four. Number two, will all the family be at the wedding? Question four. And the positive form, it will be spring soon. B, we often use well to predict the future to say what we think, guess, or calculate will happen. We can also use it to make spontaneous or quick decisions. For example, tomorrow will be warm with some clothes in the afternoon. So this is just guesses. Number two, who do you think will win? This is about thinking, okay? protect and three you never finish that book so as you can see look carefully at these sentences they are very very essential now let's move on to the senior words or the time indication of the future simple tense so we have tomorrow in five minutes in two hours on Monday on Saturday afternoon next week, next month, next year, this year, etc, etc. Now let's move into the very essential step, which is practice. It's for you guys. So I prepared some questions for you. First of all, you have to answer these questions. What time will you get up tomorrow? So just try to answer uh, at the moment. Why not? So what time will you get up tomorrow? Give me a complete sentences, please. Complete sentences. For example, I will get up this and this and this. So it's up to you guys. Number two, what will you do? What won't you do? Three, where will you go next summer vacation? Four, 
What will you do? Now let's move into the second question. In your copy books, of course, in the part of exercise, write a dialogue to your friend asking to talk about what will you do tomorrow. Is it okay, guys? I'm going to check your copy books after this sensitive period. And number three, answer the questions on the worksheet. Of course, I'm going to send you the worksheet of this lesson and you have to answer all the questions because I'm going to correct them. And that's it. So I wish that you understand the lesson and let's have a great year. Goodbye.